Okay, here's my brief summary of the Philippine news items for Monday, November the 12th, 2018. As always, I make the following declarations. I have gathered these from the websites of the Manila Standard, the Philippine Daily Inquirer, and the Philippine Star. And I do not intend to infringe on any copyrights with this video. Trump, Putin, uh, Mark the First World War Armistice, 9.8 million Filipinos are out of work, according to the social weather stations. Teachers lament the measly uh, 3,000 uh, peso anniversary bonus. <clears throat> Group seek, uh, seeks a passage of positive discipline bill. Lower House vows 19 budget uh, passage in two weeks time. 1,737 kilograms of double dead meat seized. Duque vows more reforms to bring down drug prices. Comelec unit to disqualify Osmena. House takes on impeachment case. NTC lists Miss Latel among valid telco franchises. Disallowance on license plate program. License plate program lifted. MMDA resumes cleanup drive at Manila Bay. Arroyo Lords CSFI's Cabo Hayan 2018 trade fair. Palawan traders warned follow the rules, keep province clean. And then we'll <clears throat> go to the Philippine Daily Inquirer website. <coughs> California wildfire death toll rises to 31 with 228 missing. La Pena faces graft and corruption case over missing titles. Guns and Roses at uh, Philippine Arena, rousing expansive historic. Myrtle Sarosa wins in international online gaming. Gunman in bar shooting was a ticking time bomb coach. Bolick deserves to be top pick in PBA draft, says Fernandez. Magnolia Nears finals overcomes Ginebra or Ginebra. Demi ready to return to the outside world. <clears throat>